Trainers Academy, Episode 35, Semester Exams, Part 1. Spinarak is unable to battle the referee called. Growlithe wins the match, and the battle goes to Bruce Harrison from Peter City. Bruce pumped his fist into the air and shouted, Oh, yeah! He returned his Growlithe to its Pokeball and sat down with the rest of Professor Skull's kids. Up next, Skull read from his roster, Julius Hankies and Amber Ketchum. The two called students made their way to the arena. Amber pulled out her black and gold Ultra Ball and began to whisper to it. This is it, the big moment we've been not preparing for. Don't back sass me and tell me it's not your fault you're injured. It's just that there's a minuscule chance we're going to win. The new object of the game is not to lose. Amber looked up at the sky. Oh, Arceus, I'm going to lose. Julius and Amber took their spots at the arena. The referee called, The battle between Julius Hankies of Lavender Town and Amber Ketchum of Pallet Town will now commence. This will be a one-on-one -on -one battle, and the battle will be over when either side is unable to continue. Please call out your Pokemon. Julius threw his Pokeball and shouted, Jolteon, I choose you! Jolteon sprang out, ready for battle. Amber meekly walked out onto the arena and placed her Pokeball on the floor. She pressed the button, revealing her handicapped Latias. Julius will get the first move, the referee called. Are you ready? Both Julius and Amber nodded. Begin! Jolteon, use tackle, Julius yelled. Jolteon ran forward and rammed Latias in the face. Oh, is this what battling is like? Latias, he has missed ball, Amber called. A ball of mist formed over Latias. It flew forward, chasing Jolteon in water. Jolteon, use tackle again, Julius called. Jolteon rammed into Latias again, this time from the other side. Latias, he has missed ball again, Amber called. The battle went on like this for several turns, Jolteon repeatedly tackling Latias from alternating sides, and Latias retaliating with several surprisingly accurate missed balls. It's obvious you're a terrible battler, Julius told Amber, but you do have one strong point, accuracy. Now, Jolteon, use sand attack. Jolteon turned around and used its hind legs to kick sand from the arena into Latias's eyes. Whoops, there goes your accuracy, Julius taunted. What do we do now, Latias began to rant. I can't fly, I can barely see, I don't want to lose, we're at a dead end. Just use Miss Ball, Amber said tentatively. It's all we can do. Latias fired another Miss Ball, but she missed. Are you getting nervous, Amber? Julia said. This is a battle, and it won't be your last one. Don't get nervous. If you want to survive in this world, you've got to have some serious Pokeballs. Amber was wringing her hands nervously, her heart racing a mile a minute. She had no idea what to do, and throwing the battle seemed like a more and more viable option. One of her hands squeezed her other wrist. Jolteon, use tackle once more, Julius yelled. All of a sudden, Latia started glowing pink and yellow. Amber looked at her wrist and realized she had pressed the button on her mega bracelet. What did you do? I don't know, Amber yelled. Well, that's confidence, Skull commented sarcastically. Amber began pacing in circles, looking at her wrist and repeating, What, it, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Julius and the other students began to gasp. Amber covered her eyes and yelled, Ah, I can't watch! Amber! What? Look! Amber uncovered her eyes and scanned the ground. Lot's cast was nowhere to be found. Up. Amber turned her gaze upwards, and she kept.